Let's go back to one of our lead stories uh, for today. And President Cyril Ramaphosa has extended the term of Central Bank Governor Lesecha Khanyakho for another five years from November and appointed Dr. Mampo Mudise as a new Deputy Governor of the bank. Uh, we are now joined by Executive Director and Head of uh, Research for Money, uh, Banking and Macroeconomics at First Source uh, Money, Regin Gorsi, for analysis on the story. Mr. Gorsi, thank you so much for your time this evening. Firstly, let's start off here. What do you make of the reappointment of Lesecha Khanyaho as the Reserve Bank Governor? Well, thanks for having me. Well, it's a total disaster. It's unfortunate that the President hasn't learned at all about the collapse of this economy being uh, as a result of the Reserve Bank uh, performance or the activities of the governor himself. And he goes again to reappoint a person who really had very dismal performance from any person who really understands banking and in the extent of banking. So it's, a, it's, it's quite a trust that South Africa is going to have yet another half a decade of uh, miserable growth as a consequence of such entirely incompetent a uh, person like uh, Mr. Jack Kanyab. Mm. And looking at uh, the statement from the presidency, I mean, they highlighted the issues of continuity as well as stability for the central bank. Uh, do you think uh, uh, that uh, when they made this appointment, this was, this was uh, quite crucial and centered around his uh, reappointment? Absolutely not. It's in fact, there's a lot of group think. What the president is saying that we need the group think that exists between Treasury and the Reserve Bank to continue, which group think is all about the destruction of this economy. As I've said uh, here, uh, as I said earlier, the Reserve Bank governor has performed nothing uh, of, uh, you know, of interest to this economy. It has, in fact, been the opposite. To the extent that he has done so, uh, dismantling this economy, we just don't need him there. The president was told right in 2019, uh, before his uh, uh, Kanyako's reappointment, that he shouldn't reappoint this person because he's not only a conservative, but is not clear on the issues of money and banking. So reappointing him again <laughs> is, in fact, quite laughable for the president. And uh, I think the president doesn't care about the country at all. Mm. And Mr. Gossi, you really sound disappointed uh, by this reappointment. And looking at uh, the decision taken by the president, to, uh, presidency, what do you think informed this uh, reappointment? Well, again, the president is surrounded by people like the World Bank, the International Money Fund, the big business and the banks. These are the people who call the shots. This economy is being vacuumed away from South Africans to those countries by a coterie of people in this economy. And in fact, that is exactly what they're doing. The interest rate policy of the Reserve Bank is failed, has failed, has never worked anywhere on earth for a developing country. The Africa thinks that is monetary policy. Monetary policy is a lot more complex, not understood by the Reserve Bank, not understood by the banks themselves, not understood by the big business. That are the persons who, in fact, convinced the president that he should, uh, he should uh, reappoint uh, a dead wood like uh, Mr. Chad Khanyabo. Mm. And Mr. Nkosi, there were also other appointments uh, being made, and that is uh, the deputy governor. And of course, uh, we've seen her name as uh, Dr. Mampo Mudise. Uh, mixed views also coming out uh, from a lot of quarters. And what do you make of uh, her appointment to this position? I don't, I don't know her much apart, apart from... Uh, that she has been at Treasury and she's been in the, uh, is it in the debt section? You know, again, there's a group think at the Treasury and the Reserve Bank. And that is the group think that has let this country down. And to put one of their own back into, I mean, up into the Reserve Bank, quite frankly, is a disappointment. So there's not going to be any change at all. The only hope was uh, Rashad Kassem because he comes from a different. Uh, uh, different background. It was a new uh, candidate there, not from the reserve, not, not from Treasury. But to have to bring again all these people who are, you know, if you want, uh, I may have World Bank people, frankly, it's a disappointment of Africa. And this is it. We should understand that this economy is not going to grow for yet another five years. Mm. 
And uh, going back uh, to, uh, to Dr. Mampo uh, Mudise, um, uh, Mr. Nkosi, one would also ask, uh, when you're looking at, uh, you know, uh, the sort of a reaction we have gotten throughout the day uh, following uh, this appointment, uh, some were saying that, well, they had expected the president to uh, select from a different pool and not from the traditional ways of uh, selecting a deputy uh, governor. Uh, what do you uh, think about that? Uh, do you think that that, uh, the president should have taken a different route here uh, and not taken someone uh, from uh, the national treasury. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. In fact, that would have been uh, uh, better approach. You know, taking again from a pool of people who have no clue, no understanding of monetary policy. You know, it, it just boggles the mind. So, whoever these, I mean, these people are reacting that uh, the president should have gone elsewhere are correct. We have a problem in this country because of Treasury and the Reserve Bank. They think like one person from one, you know, they think, well, they think as if they're coming from one family. Completely uninformed about the key issues that bedevil this economy, which in fact is the macroeconomic policy. Unless we have people who understand this macroeconomic policy, nothing is going to change. And we don't have any person, either the governor the governor, the deputy governor Mampo, they do not understand monetary policy, they don't understand macroeconomic policy at all.